first of all, I'd like to thank you all because I think we're in an incredibly good spot right now. And uh, that's despite the fact that we're about to lose our, our leader to retirement. Uh, Dean Sumacrast has been an extraordinary leader, as you all know. I came uh, just after he arrived, I think a couple of years after he arrived at Virginia Tech. And I was so impressed with uh, Robert because I had been at another institution and had a similar kind of position in higher education as a land grant institution. And our business school at, at that institution was kind of trying to figure out what the future was gonna be like. And the Dean at the time went and visited Robert and, uh, it, which, and this was before I had any clue about that I would end up at Virginia Tech and uh, came away with his eyes wide open about where the institution of, the, well, the concept of a business school, especially for a land grant university was headed. So. Uh, that was my first introduction. I don't even think I knew your name at that point. It was, you just heard about the Dean and his leadership team and the, some of the bold decisions you made back then that uh, I think influenced uh, business schools around the country. And that continues today. We're really in a great position. You know, people, uh, I always worry about leadership changes because they can uh, cause you to retrench and lose, lose momentum. Uh, this is, of all the Dean positions that I've either been in the role of provost or president for, the Dean transitions, this is the gonna be the easiest one. I mean, I shouldn't say that because uh, uh, you, you never know if things can happen out of your control, but uh, Robert has set us up along with all of your support and help uh, to give us incredible momentum and um, it will attract a lot of really extraordinary candidates. I'm absolutely confident. So thank you, Robert, for your contributions to Virginia Tech, to, uh, to Pamplin and, uh, and to our future as well. Thank you. 